Okay. Okay. The date today is Monday the 9th of October 2023 and the time is 16.13. So 4.13. I'm going to try and communicate with Randy Stair. Now, Randy Stair was a guy that I feel had a lot more paranormal problems than people ever considered to look into. And I'm going to try and communicate with him to see if we can get some confirmation on that or some clarity. So let's begin this. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Just to confirm, we are at the park that I used to take Layla that she used to love. This was her favorite spot. I call out to the spirits, my guides, protective archangels and guardian angels. I wish to make a few connections today. I will be trying to contact my mother, Irene Jackson, my little doggy Layla. And I'll also be trying to communicate with, I'll also be trying to communicate with the spirit of Randy Stair. I invite loving spirits to talk. If negative spirits wish to if negative spirits wish to speak, they may. However, they will have to go back to where they come from, and they can only speak and nothing else. I'm going to begin by trying to communicate with Randy Stair. Guides, I wish to speak to the spirit of Randy Stair. He's the one that did... He's the one that did the Weiss shootings in 2017. He believed that when he died, he would pass over into the cartoon world and become a ghost girl. Randy Stair. Randy Stair. If you're there, come forward just enough so you can speak into this box. I wish to hear where you are. You had a pretty crappy life. Randy Stair, come forward and speak to me. You're invited to speak and only speak through my box. You believed that you were doing everything for the goddess of M Ember McLean, who was a cartoon character, Ghost, from the TV series Danny Phantom. <laughs> you created your own little family of ghosts called Ember's Ghost Squad, who you believed were talking to you. I personally believe that could have been evil spirits manipulating you. Please come forward and speak to me. Randy Stair, where are you right now? What is around you? Where is your place that you're located? <laughs> a lot of people believe that bad spirits, people that do bad things in life, go to a bad place. I'm trying to get confirmation of where you are now. 
Randy Stair, please come forward. Speak. Feel my energy and my light. You were obsessed also with the Columbine shootings in life. You used to idolise Eric Harris and Dylan Claybold. Guides, please connect me with Randy Stair for a brief period so we can speak. This is for research. We need to know where these people go and what. <laughs> Randy Stair, when you did the killings, you decided on what was going to happen based on a coin flip. You wanted to die. You were fascinated with death. Are you in the light or are you in the darkness? Randy Stair, you went by the name Andrew Blaze. Was one of your aliases. You made a, 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 a fan film, a fan series of Danny Phantom based on Ember's Ghost Squad, which were your own original characters. Mackenzie and Rachel, which you also named your guns after. <laughs> Randy Stair, this device will allow you to speak. We can hear what you have to say about what you did, why you did it, and where you've gone. Try to communicate. I can feel someone around me. Is that you? I'm not sure if that's Randy, I can feel or someone else. <laughs> Try to come forward and speak. I want to hear what you was what you were feeling or thinking at the time. Were you seeing Ember McLean? when you did what you did. <laughs> Randy, are you standing next to me? There's someone on my left standing just slightly behind my shoulder. Is this Randy Stair I'm feeling? Please try to tell me what happened on the night when you did what you did. You can speak to me through this device. Feel my, li my light, my connection. Use my mind to speak through that box. You are not allowed to possess or attach yourself to me. I'm protected by light but you can speak using this box and my link. I'm not sure if we're getting Randy or not here, but when I review, I'll see what's coming through. You attacked your supermarket, Weiss stores, where you worked, where you were... <laughs> where you were very unhappy. You grew to hate your father, I understand. You felt you were in the wrong body. You felt like you were a female ghost in a male body.
Randy, you can speak to me. I speak to loads of spirits, good and bad. I'm always willing to listen. <laughs> Guides, try to uh, try to connect me with Randy Stair, please, just to speak. Are you trapped in a dark place right now? Did you make it to where you thought you were going to go? Please try to speak to me, come forward. Anything you'd like to say, Randy, from the other side? Anything you want to tell all the people that used to be your fans and followers? Is there anything you wish to, to put across from where you are about what you did or where you are? Or anything you just want to say to them in general? I feel that you felt that I feel that you felt that your news coverage would have been a lot bigger than it was. You wanted to go out the same way the Columbine You wanted to go out the same way the Columbine kids did. Eric and Har Eric Harris and Dylan Claybold. You wanted more attention on the news after what you did. And I feel like it didn't get that much. Come try to speak to me, come through. Now's your chance to speak, be heard. You were always saying no one was ever listening to the signs. You were always saying people weren't listening to you and took no notice of you. And this is your chance to speak, so people will. It might be a bit late, but I'm sure they wish to hear from you and what you've got to say. Come forward. Speak. Was that no? You don't wish to speak? Okay. All right, Randy, we'll stop there for now. If there's anything more you want to say before I stop your session, now's your chance to speak. Is there anything you want to say, Randy? Okay. Okay. Okay, this is a short continuation trying to communicate with Randy Stair. Um, this is part two of today's session. Randy Stair. I'm trying to communicate with the spirit of Randy Stair, mass murderer. Can I speak to the spirit of Randy Stair, please? <laughs> Is this the spirit of Randy Stair I'm speaking with? Also known as Andrew Blaze. You were obsessed with Danny Phantom's character Ember McLean. Do 
Just got to chill. Randy Stair, please try to come forward and make communication. Do you wish to talk? We can let I'm sure there's a lot of people that would like to know what was in your mind before you did what you did. You left many tapes and documentary things behind for us to watch, but to see the result of your actions, where you ended up, where you wanted to go, did you get there? You used to say you felt you were a female soul trapped in a male body. You decided to end several people's lives as well as your own based on a coin flip. Please come forward and speak. I wish to understand why you did what you did what you were seeing, what you were feeling. Was something manipulating you, spiritually? Something... <laughs> were you seeing a spirit, maybe? Something that was taking the form of Ember McLean to encourage you to do what you did? You can come close enough that I can feel your energy and that you can speak. You cannot possess, you cannot attach. And after the session you have to go back to where you came from. I am protected by God's light. But I wish to speak with you. You cared a lot about your posters in your bedroom. You signed them for fans. <laughs> Please try to come forward the best you can and speak. Where are you now? The realm that you're in, where are you? What is your surroundings? Is there anyone else there where you are or are you on your own? You were obsessed with Columbine. Eric Harris and Dylan Claybold. Are you in the same place as them now? Or somewhere else? Randy, this is your chance to speak to everyone. Tell them what you think, what you feel, what you feel. Are you in a place where demons are? Or are you in a personal hell? We need to know where you are. Randy, stay. <laughs> Randy Stair. You are, I do believe you're only in your 20s when you did a mass killing and then shot yourself. Where did that send you? Tried to speak to me, Randy. Randy Stair. 
Randy, you've got to try to speak more. We've got limited time on this session, only until this tape ends. Try to speak, use my energy, try to come through and talk to us. Try to feel my energy. You had two guns that you called Mackenzie and Rachel, named after your own original characters, from your own original fan story. And Ember's Ghost Squad, in which Mackenzie, in which Mackenzie and Rachel were two ghosts. Mackenzie and Rachel were two ghosts in your original story, Ember's Ghost Squad, one of which was your soulmate, your twin flame. You believed you were also a ghost girl. How do you feel about all of this from where you are now, in the afterlife? Try to speak, Randy. <laughs> Did you say you hate it there? Where you are? You hate where you are, am I correct? Why do you think you ended up there, instead of where you were planning to go, which you said would be a much better existence? Do you regret what you did? Do you regret the decisions you made? Do you have regrets, Randy? Okay. Are there any other mass murderers where you are? From what I understand, all people that do the kind of things that you did end up in their own darkness. So there is nobody else but yourselves. Am I correct in thinking this? What did you see before you took your own life? What did you see after you took your own life? It is research to communicate with the other side. To show that we can do it. Okay. Tapes run out. That's the end of the Randy Stair part two.